Hi everyone, it's Jim the IOTIS guy. Welcome back to the channel. We are here with another FSD beta video. I just got 10.12.2 pushed to me yesterday and I wanted to give it a try. And I wanna show you how well it works more on my particular standard run to work in the morning to see how well it does. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll talk as we go. All right, we're gonna be starting our journey. It did wanna cut that quarter off a little tight. Heading into work, we're gonna test FSD beta out. We've got some road construction we may have to deal with. It has been really hesitant on this particular turn. We are turning right onto a road that has cross traffic that goes 45 miles an hour. It uh, has had issues in the past making that turn on red, but it uh, waited for the green light this time. And we are headed on our way. We're coming up on a left-hand turn. This is an unprotected left-hand turn. Oncoming traffic is going 55 miles an hour. It does not stop. We do have pretty good morning sunlight here, so we'll see how well the traffic cameras work out. We're coming up to the turn, and it is just going. FSD beta 10.12.2, I'm finding is much more aggressive and, I guess, fast. Um, so maybe sometimes too fast, um, but right now it made that turn and it was a little jerky, but it was okay. Now this road is straight. We've had some problems with this road in the past when we get to the break in the center lines. And if you haven't seen my video on how center lines affect the speed of MSD beta, go check that out. Um, but it has historically been pausing when it gets to the break in the center line. And so far, we are good to go. Also want to give a shout out to Tesla for the update here. Um, I really like the new visualizations of the cars. Much more, I guess, realistic. Um, nice touch. I don't know, just subjectively, it also seems to be maybe seeing what's going on further out, or at least painting it on the screen to give me the impression that it's seeing more of what's going on. Um, I don't think it did that in the past, but it's doing a better job now. Coming up to our first four-way stop. Use the turn signal to get into the straight lane. Not really sure you need to do that. Came to a full stop, and we are on our way. Now, previous betas, it has wanted to hug the center line here, even though there isn't a center line and it's difficult to tell whether or not it's doing any better. It does still seem to want to be drifting to the center where there are no oncoming cars. So far, so good. Coming up on an easy right-hand turn, do you have a red light? And we'll have an opportunity to see if the car will go right on red. Still seems to stop. Ooh, okay. It did go right on red and it was a little jerky. It was actually a little more than a little jerky. But it does seem to be more confident in its ability to want to go. We're making a right hand turn into our local convenience store to get some much needed caffeine and we will pick up this video to head into work after my caffeine stop. All right, we have our much needed caffeine and we are heading into my place of work. I'm gonna go ahead and engage as soon as it will allow us to. And it has just this particular getting on uh, the, the main road has been an issue um, for a while. Um, we have some road construction heads, so we're gonna see how well it deals with that. Um, it has in the past with previous betas not dealt with it very well. We're going to need to get over to the left. We've got a truck in front of us and it doesn't exactly see that it needs to get over. And it does see the cones. I would have normally gotten over by myself, but uh, the guy behind me just flipped me off. That's always nice. And he was turning left anyway, so the guy was in a big hurry to get to a grocery store. 
Anyway, we are approaching a, um, a right-hand turn up here. It is a 45 mile an hour right-hand turn, but we have road construction on the right-hand side for this entire trip uh, on this particular road. And it is in the past that has wanted to get over into that right lane, even though it sees the cones. You can see it's still doing that with this version of FSD. It's signaling, it's trying to find an opening, it's trying to determine whether or not it can make the journey. And uh, you can see it giving the intention that it wants to get over. And it can't uh, because it eventually says, no, I can't get over, I can't get over, I can't get over. And it's gonna see, look at that. It just got over and I don't like where it brought me. We're gonna go ahead and record that. I guess we'll go ahead and move forward. Re-engage make the right hand turn it should not have dipped into that construction area with those cones um, construction area is a, a difficult thing even for humans to deal with but uh, you got to really kind of watch FSD meter on that whoa Got a big break there when that uh, cement mixer was pulling out and uh, I don't know it kind of thought it was a threat but we are at my place of business and we are done with this particular drive. So my thoughts on FSD beta 10.12.2. Um, I do notice some changes. Uh, the biggest change that I can see is just the general aggressiveness that the car has. It is much more assertive. It is much more willing to go in a situation where even sometimes I I may not feel comfortable going and I may end up uh, breaking and, 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 and intervening. Uh, perhaps I don't need to, but uh, overall it was kind of, uh, I think Elon Musk said this might be a two steps forward, one step back release, but a bigger release. I kind of maybe agree with that. I think the car is getting more confident, which has been what it has really needed to do for a long time. Um, and it overall is progressing. So, that's my video for this week um, on FSD Beta 10.12.2. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Even better, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out because I put out videos like this all the time along with road trip videos and review videos. So until the next time, we'll catch you later.